Okay, so first of all, if you accidentally delete a file, you can undo it by using the keyboard shortcut Control Z. Then the keyboard shortcut F2 will put you into the file name where you can rename the file. Then pressing Tab will let you scroll down the list of file names. And holding down Shift and pressing Tab will bring you back up the list. Then to get out of the file name, you need to press either enter or escape. And if you change your mind about renaming the file, you can use control Z to undo it. Then there are also the keyboard shortcuts control C to copy and control V to paste, and then also control X to cut. And if you want to get out of that, you need to press escape. Then if you hold down control, you can select multiple individual files at once. And holding down shift will let you select a bunch of files at once. Then there's also the keyboard shortcut control A, which stands for all and will let you select all of the files in the folder. Then pressing the up and down arrow keys on the keyboard will let you scroll up and down the list of files. And pressing home and end on the keyboard will take you to the beginning and end of the list of files. Then you can also just start typing letters and it will take you to the files that begin with those letters. Then there's also the keyboard shortcut control F which stands for find, and that will put your cursor into the search bar up here, where you can then search for the name of the file that you want to find. Then if I go to a different folder, pressing backspace will take me back to the folder that I was just in, and alt and right arrow will take me forwards again and alt and left arrow takes me back just like backspace will. And this is the equivalent of clicking on these arrows here. Then there's also this arrow for which the keyboard shortcut is alt up arrow. And this will take you up a level, so it will put you in the folder that your folder is in. Then if you want to open a file or folder that you have selected, you can press enter. And then there's also the keyboard shortcut Alt Enter, which will open up the Properties window. And to close the Properties window, you can press Escape. Then the keyboard shortcut Control Shift and N will create a new folder. And Control N will open up a new File Explorer window in the folder that you currently have open. And then you can press the Windows key and right arrow to put it on one half of the screen. And Windows key and left arrow will put a window on the other half of the screen. Then Control W can close the window. And if I close this one as well, then Windows key and E will open up a File Explorer window if you don't already have one open. Okay, so in this video, I have shown you how to use keyboard shortcuts in Windows File Explorer, and that is everything.